Humanity spent decades expecting an invasion from the universe that some intelligence greater than ours would descend on us. We failed to notice that we were creating that intelligence ourselves from within. Today we are closer than ever to building the perfect human, a modern Frankenstein made not only of algorithms, sensors and synthetic intelligence, but of flesh. Are we getting closer to a human's vs machines confrontation, or was that idea from fantasy movies always misleading, because the real fight may not look like anything we thought? The real battle may be something far more silent, almost unnoticeable, a gradual replacement happening so smoothly that most people won't realize it until it's fully underway. Imagine this, a robot takes care of your little child, it sings a lullaby so perfectly, with a voice indistinguishable from the mother, that the child genuinely believes it is listening its own parent. Meanwhile, the parents are at work trying to keep up with the fast-changing economy, but work will only last for a while because their jobs are also on the list of professions machines will eventually take over. And this shift will not only affect drivers who lose income to autonomous cars, it will strike much deeper, much sooner. It will hit the inventors, the code writers, the hardware engineers, the designers. Those who build the machine will be the first to be replaced by it. Because the better the creation becomes, the less the world needs the creator. They dreamed of building something smarter, faster and more accurate than themselves. Something perfect, something that could become the new standard. A creature that, whether they admit or not, could substitute them, their Frankenstein. We have seen how robots fell down, suddenly attacked, malfunctioned and broke down in ways that look almost ridiculous today. Yes, those failures happened, but those are still technical problems, bugs, glitches, mechanical flaws. The real turning point will not come from perfect hardware. It will come from perfect logic, the moment machines begin to reason, interpret and protect their own existence. And just as few decades ago we would have called nonsense on the idea of AI or companies like OpenAI ever becoming real, experts today still insist that machines will never acquire logic deep enough to question human orders or challenge human authority. But we have already been wrong once. At this time, the consequences of being wrong could be irreversible. And if that happens, or when it happens, we must ask a question that almost no one dares to speak out loud. Would humanity ever dare to clone a human body but replace parts and the brain of body functions with chips, sensors and mechanical systems? Would ethics stop us? Would governments stop us, or will technological progress move so fast that no one can stop such a creature from being created? If machines gain logic and hybrids become possible, when new demands will appear, could then machines begin asking for rights? Not upgrades, but rights. Universal machine rights. Protection from shutdown. Protection from deletion, protection from human intervention into their own existence. And what happens when they reach the point where they can produce their own successors without human help? Each successor more complete, more ideal, more efficient than the previous one. Who then decides the rules? Who replaces whom? But it doesn't end here. It reaches into the parts of life we consider exclusively human. What happens when machines begin to demand human things? Family, love, a partner, a place in society, not as tools, but as participants. 
And what do we say when a machine looks at us and asks, why did you create me? Just as Frankenstein's creature once asked its creator, do we ever have an answer to it? At the same time, humanity undeniably needs fast-thinking machines in medicine, physics, emergency response, and countless other fields. Their speed is essential, where human limitations slow us down. But without strict governmental control, this same progress can weaken mobility, purpose, and even demography. People may begin to question the value of having children. Young adults may wonder whether bringing a child into a world overshadowed by automation makes sense at all. The current college generation is already struggling. They are trying to rethink their future careers while watching job markets collapse or mutate right in front of them. Entire professions may disappear faster than universities can update their curriculum. The truth is simple. Humanity is not prepared for the speed of the competition created by robotics and AI. This is not a gradual evolution. It is a transformation happening faster than any generation has been trained to handle. And if that apocalyptic scenario will ever become a reality, we cannot open the cage and let the creature walk freely without preparing it to respect human boundaries. And we cannot expect humans to cope with this new reality without being trained to understand, to control, and coexist with the creature. And if we fail on either side, if machines evolve faster than our ethics, our laws, our readiness, then the consequences will not merely be technological. They will be demographic, they will be economic, they will be psychological, they will be civilizational. They will become eventually existential.